In this video, you will learn how to make a good dribble start. When attacking, you need to get some distance between you and the defender from the first dribble. It is therefore very important to make a good dribble start. To set off dribbling well, work on these two points. Stopping and driving. First, stopping. When you receive the ball, jump slightly to turn towards the basket. You should catch the ball in the air with both feet off the ground. There are two ways to stop. To do a jump stop, land on both feet at the same time. Stopping like this allows to choose your pivot foot. To do a stride stop, land on one foot first, normally the one furthest from the teammate passing to you, followed by the other foot to turn as necessary. This way of stopping helps you to balance better, but your pivot foot will automatically be the first one to touch the floor. In both cases, you can finish in triple threat position with your knees well bent and turned towards the basket. Second, driving. It can be direct or crossed. For a direct drive, dribble with the hand on the same side as your starting foot. For a crossover drive, dribble with the hand opposite to your starting foot. Choose your drive according to your pivot foot and the defender's position. You can also add a fig before driving to get your opponent to move out of the way. Never lift your pivot foot before releasing the ball to avoid being penalized for traveling. Now practice by passing the ball to yourself from the three-point line and trying out the various ways of stopping and driving. Don't forget to practice with your weak hand as well. Over to you.